Hi Tyra, this is Mary, your art director. So you have a good start in this assignment. I see you did the shadow and the puppet warp and worked with the hair. Hopefully you also turned the eyeglasses green. Um, something you might want to do is work on refining the edges for the hair. And if you look at, for milestone three, the task instructions, I'm going to open this up. And um, it directs you to the lesson. And then once you've finished the lesson, make the following additional changes to the document. So for each Photoshop lesson, after you finish the textbook, you will come back to the directions. And there will always be extra steps that you need to do to that same file. And also, you know, it directs you to post your submission to the submission area, and then it describes what you need to discuss. And so there'll be a comment area in the submissions area that um, will allow you to include some sentences. Okay, I'm going to go back to your submission here. And um, I have this selected. I'm going to right click and go to select and mask and I have it on overlay make sure you use the properties panel if it doesn't come up for you you could go to window and choose properties here and the panel will come up and the rest of the settings all look like this if I can move this up even farther so you could see it all right and what I'm going to do first is blow this up a little bit and use this tool and I'm going to put that X that's in the middle right on the white because that's what I want to get rid of. So you see as I move along it's refining the edges even more. Even get this little spot here. Okay so work on refining the edges and then I'm going to say okay and I'm going to go back here and All right, I'm going to click in here. Okay, when I click here, it's not showing me the options bar. So I'm going to go to Window, and Options is down here. If you're having that difficulty, you see right here, this really needs to be um, checked. And so you can see now it's checked. All right, so now I have options. I'm just going to have this be fit on screen. Now, a couple of things that you need to do in those additional changes that are in the task instructions. One is to add an additional photo and apply a shadow and also a clipped adjustment layer. I'm going to show you a couple of those things. I'm just going to go to File, Open, Recent, and I'm going to grab this right here. So I have this file, and I want to bring the whole thing in. I don't want to just select it first, and so I'm going to go to Select all. You can go to Control A too, and so the whole thing is selected. And then I'm going to edit and copy it. And then I'm coming over here and edit and paste it. We'll paste it on a separate layer. The trick is for layer masking is you really need to bring the whole thing in and have the background. And so I'm going to get the Move tool. I can move it around. Now I need to layer mask it. And so I'm just going to grab this selection tool, click on here, it's an easy thing to select, and then go to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal the Selection. And so your layer mask should look like this. So it's similar to how you accomplish this. And so um, now I want to apply a clipped adjustment layer. So I want to clip it to this layer. So I'm just going to make sure this layer is selected. 
and go to layer, new adjustment layer. And I'm just going to choose hue saturation. I'm going to make sure it's clipped and click OK. And so now whatever happens, it's only going to affect that layer. It's not going to affect the rest of the image. The idea here is to try to make it blend in more with the rest of the image. All right, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And you can see how it's clipped to this layer. All right, so if you could do those things, um, that would be really good before you submit this for your M3 file submission.